What's up, my good people? Welcome to another episode of Sapat Diary. And guess what? Today I have a very, very, very important guest. I've been telling him it's good to have him back. I don't know where I had gone to. <laughs> my guest today and a good friend of mine, Winyo. Yeah. Hey, Winyo. It's been long Some coming, was it? Sasa? Yeah, How are you, bro? I'm Mzuri. Hey, Karibu Konya Diary. Asante. Uh, I've been Thank looking you. forward to have you over. Yeah, I watched yeah. the show. Uh -huh. I really like it. Uh -huh. It's very nice. It's very easy. Uh -huh. So uh, I knew you'd call me. You're my friend. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, you had to call me. You're my friend. Uh -huh. So it was definitely an opportune time to come. Okay. And I feel very grateful. To these guys who I'm sure they know you, but for the one or two people who da who are Kujui, right? who might you be? Uh, I am Winyo. My name is uh, uh, Amunyo. 
is I'm a contemporary Benga musician, Kenyan born, and uh, I've been at it for at least now I would say uh, 15 years, 15 years professionally as a contemporary Benga musician. I love music. And um, yeah, I think, um, I mean, uh, look me up on, uh, on my YouTube channel, we know, on uh, Facebook, we know, on iTunes, and my album, Bang of Blues, is on, on all uh, digital platforms, please. If you don't have it, look for Bang of Blues, you will never leave that album. I still haven't left that album. <laughs> <laughs> it's true, Bang of Blues is fantastic. It is. So how did you fall in, into this music game? Well, but so, you know, there's this story I've never told people. Mm -hmm. The first day I sang a note, I did not know. <laughs> the first day I opened my mouth to sing uh -huh. was at that time in class four, mm -hmm. when they, were, they used to introduce uh, music, music, music lessons at that time. Mm -hmm. So the teacher was going around uh, introducing the uh, solfa notation, the... Do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do. So, you know, uh, the way teachers used to do uh, back then, they point at you and you sing, ah, can you sing, do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do. No one could sing it. <coughs> then when the teacher arrived at my desk, and she, she asked, can you sing the, uh, the solfa notation? And I sang the solfa notation. And she stopped there. Sing again. Do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do. Hmm. Okay. Sing again. Now, this time, take it to another scale. So I did not know what a scale was. A scale is you sing the Doro Mi Fa Sol La Ti Do, but you go a higher or whatever. Mm -hmm. So I sang it. Do Re Mi Fa Sol La Ti Do, Re Mi Fa Sol La Ti Do. The class stopped. And I did not know why. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I knew back then, you know, uh, if you grew up on uh, the way we grew up a long time, you knew you made a mistake. Mm -hmm. You know, the teacher is either going to cane you. Yes, because it's like <laughs> things have stopped all of a sudden. Yeah. The teacher has stopped the lesson. Uh -huh. And he, she, she dragged me out of the class uh -huh. and took me to the staff room. So here am I shaking. I, I'm here in the staff room shaking in front of teachers. And I knew this is bad. I'm going to be expelled from school. Mm -hmm. And uh, she tells the whole uh, staff room, could you listen to this boy? L can you do what you, can you sing what you, what you did in the classroom? And I sang the soft presentation again. And they were, the teachers were like, mm, 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 uh, he can sing, he can sing. You know? So. This is a, a boy <laughs> in third four. Yes, okay. in class four. <laughs> third four. Yeah. So <clears throat> the teacher told me, that's the day I had a name called Talent, a word called Talent. Mm -hmm. Do you know you have a talent of music? I didn't understand what, he, what the teacher was saying, you know, that you can sing, you know. I tried to grasp the thing, you know, and then uh, to cut the sh uh, long story short, the teacher would use me now, since we didn't have pianos and all these keyboards, mm -hmm. she would use me in all her classes to sing the solfa notation, <laughs> she would take me to upper classes, mm -hmm. to the class eights, to the lower classes. Oh, this is how the solfa notation is. Sing! So I was like, uh, <laughs> I was like uh, a tape recorder. You were not, you not you afraid know? of the big kids. I wasn't. Yeah. I wasn't. And uh, from there, mm -hmm. I started composing music just out of nowhere. You know, I would listen. To, uh, at that time, there was a lot of country music influence. Uh, the, uh, r and scene was not even there yet, mm -hmm. you know, so I would uh, scribble something to write, you know, and also I got into theatre and my teacher started giving me poems and I started becoming number one all the way, okay, you know, okay. for music festival and yeah. there's number one and yeah. the school is so happy uh -huh. and the teachers are all over, uh -huh. okay. you know, and my life changed, from then my life changed, <laughs> completely, uh -huh. I have never... How so? How so? How, in a way that, um, <clears throat> uh, ever since I stepped on a stage, it has never been the same for me. Wow. People have been around, you know, I have had audiences, I have had uh, just managers around, you know, yeah. <laughs> I have had yeah. things just moving. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, things just moving. Uh -huh. And from, from earlier, mm. I, I never used to understand, I was like, Everybody could sing. 
I, 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 I'm like, anyone can sing. Why, why are you think this is so special? No, you are special. So I didn't know what mm. that, that meant. Okay. Life just changed. My school was, I never paid school fees. Oh. My whole life. That's a big change. Yeah. yeah. The, the, the school, you would either pay for my school and uh, all the way from high school. What about your home environment? Did they know that you're this talent? Yeah, they knew. They got used to it. Mm. They were just used to it. It started on your side before that they found out, Amma, that you were always singing in the house. I was always singing in the house. Ah, okay. Ever ever since, I would sing in the house and uh, my mother would say, you know, you sing like a bird, you know? Uh, I never used to understand that. I would uh, sing going to the shops when I'm uh, sent to the shop and come back, you know, uh, scribble something from what I've listened to. I can't to. imagine. I've never seen a child like that. Yeah. Like that's, you know, that's very rare. Yeah. yeah. So for, uh, from that time, I would Compose songs, mm -hmm. uh, my own songs, and uh, I, would, uh, I was lucky enough to be in a family of very many brothers and sisters. I'm a firstborn, okay, in a family of eight. Oh, wow. okay. <laughs> so that was choir for me. So, so I would teach them music. Mm -hmm. So in a way, they helped me build what we call harmonization, how to harmonize music. You know. Uh -huh. So I came up with a group from my own family. Oh. Yeah, we called a win of five. We were very great. <laughs> <laughs> so also you have siblings who can sing also. Yes, yes, oh. yes. All my siblings can sing. Can all sing. of them? Yeah, all of them. All of them can sing well apart from my sisters. My sisters are terrible. <laughs> <laughs> only hey, Pauline is singing in the same way. Only our last one can sing. Uh. The rest are very good fans. <laughs> 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 but my brothers... And you're from your folks or from any family member? Was there a musician? You see, we have tried to trace this thing, uh -huh. Patrick. It's not there uh -huh. in any trace. Ah, uh, so you're the first of the first. I, I don't think so. The, uh -huh. It has to be somewhere. You know, there is something. Mm. We still believe we'll find yeah, it. Yeah, you know, yeah. some Nyatiti guy somewhere. Uh -huh, yeah. <laughs> or Orutu. Uh -huh. Orutu, grand, grand. Uh, yes, that was playing. That that, maybe it skipped a few generations and got to you. Maybe. Yeah. 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 Maybe so. Uh, out of uh, that music influence, my 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 family, my whole uh, siblings uh, were influenced into music and the arts, and they all sing. You know, my younger brother, the uh, uh, Vincent, yes. marks me up until today. Yes. And uh, <clears throat> when we come together as brothers, our get togethers are always a cappella singing, Aish. a cappella singing, ah. music singing. We would perform in churches and we would, uh, you know perform at home and, you know, compose music. And uh, yes, our churches uh, used to love us when we were growing up. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, they loved us. So where did you grow up yourself? In Nairobi or more? I was born in uh, Nakuru. Okay. I was born in Nakuru, uh, raised in Naivasha. Okay. Yeah, I was raised in Naivasha for 18 years. Ah, okay. Yeah, That's yeah. a very, very unique kind of movement. Yes. Uh -huh. 18 years that uh, I had a lot of, uh, uh, you know, um, uh, there were a lot of cultures and, uh, you know, tribes. So, you mm -hmm. know, um, I know how to speak Luya, you know how to speak Kikuyu. Ah, okay. you know, so, the, a lot of influence mm -hmm. from those cultures also helped me grow mm -hmm. uh, my writing skills and tell uh -huh. stories. I have a song in Kikuyu. Yes, 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 I know. Kimani. Eh, Kimani, yes. very, very nice. So, yes, yes, yes. So this goes into, from primary, it goes into high school? Yes. Uh -huh. So I get into high school and I find teachers ready for me. Uh -huh. That's why I told you, my life changed. You know, I've never known... They had heard about you yes. by the time you joined the school. Okay. Yes. Okay. So there was a school I used to go to in, in uh, before high school, I used to go to a, a school called Nakul. Mm -hmm. Nakul, by that time, there was a, a lot of this uh, so-called polit uh, political violence and like that, Rift Valley was into a, in a turmoil at that time. Mm -hmm. Molo, those things. So I was called to a school, Agoro Sare High School. Okay. I found my teachers waiting for me. Osare was where? Agoro Sare. Agoro Sare. Mm. Uh, which county? Uh, Oyugis Karachuan. Okay. A lot of big people come there. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Uh, your former governor is from my high school. Oh, okay. <laughs> anyway, uh -huh. yeah. So and uh, I arrived, and uh, uh, after um, uh, you know uh, being in school, all the teachers, uh, a few teachers came and said, "Oh, are you polycap? Yeah, I'm polycap. Are you children? Yeah." From there, they just started with me. 
poems and drama and music and I, used, I started writing music. Mm -hmm. used to it. So I'm sitting in front of class and you know, I'm, I came late to class. I, I, I wasn't one of those people who came uh, right immediately after the schools were open. Mm -hmm. So here am I seated and I'm singing. I'm singing, say you, say me, say you forever, <laughs> actually. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm singing. Mm -hmm. Then I pause. And I turn back and a whole huge <laughs> crowd of people from the class I sit and listening and I didn't know. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I look back and all of them sit back. I say, wow, you can see. Mm -hmm. I'm like, everybody can see what's so unique about this. Mm -hmm. My whole school life changed completely. Sure. Mm -hmm. You know, so I would uh, I was always number one in uh, in drama festival. Uh because I would mix, I would mix my acting with music writing and script writing. Mm -hmm. I became best actor, best performing actor. At that time, I was uh, four times best actor national wide. Wow! Okay. Yeah. Okay. yeah. So uh, the school also, you know, was known. Now the name, the name was out there. We were big competitors. We used to win. Ah, okay. Yeah, Things okay. like that. Yeah, really... <laughs> so, yeah. I mean, at that time, I would go to uh, to to those uh, those festivals with the um, town security. 
You know what I mean? Aye, okay, okay, okay. Because competitions uh-huh. were very serious. Uh-huh. Drama festivals back then were very... I don't know what people do nowadays. So once you're, you're, you're done with high school, right? Uh, how did you take it to the next level? Mm-hmm. You know, from high school I started recording music. Mm-hmm. My teachers would allow me to go to recording studios uh, and, uh, you know, do all the sort of things. I had... Uh, my teachers were very supportive. Mm-hmm. My teachers were very, I've never seen supportive teachers like that. Mm-hmm. You know, I was never caned. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you went, you did not know the cane of the discipline <laughs> master. I did not know the cane of the discipline master. You're so lucky, bro. I yeah. tell you. Yeah. you know? So they supported me. Mm. And I wasn't very good in class. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, my teachers knew that if I sat, if I was somewhere in, in, in class and, and I was in, the, in, in a creative mind, it would allow me to go to the, to the out of class and then just roam around the school, <laughs> write something. Man, they write something, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and write something. Mm-hmm. I was the only person allowed with earrings. What? Yeah. You wear studs in, yeah. in, in class? Yes. Uh-huh. And I would plait my hair. Uh-huh. Yeah. <clears throat> and my teacher would say, no, no, he's crazy. His mind is creating something. And also, he's preparing for the next uh, drama festival. You know, <laughs> the crits are, and it, it it was nothing. I just liked it. <laughs> 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 so, <laughs> so, so my teacher supported me. Yeah. So when the big exam came, you know, the KCSE and mm-hmm. things like that, mm-hmm. they all came like they all were like, "You have to pass. <laughs> mm-hmm. We are going to help you pass. Mm-hmm. This is how it will be done." They taught me how to answer questions. You know, they taught me how to how answer mathematics, like uh, particular questions that would come, mm-hmm. how to solve them. Every morning, my maths teacher would come to to the dormitory, mm-hmm. to my dormitory, uh, sit there with me, uh, <laughs> bring me tea. Uh, 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 <laughs> you have to pass, uh, uh, and I really passed. Uh-huh. I, I I really passed to uh-huh. be honest, and I I'm grateful. Uh-huh. Okay. They are still my biggest fans until today. Okay. Some well, of them come for the show. And hey, really? Yeah, yeah. Hey, <laughs> so, nice. Okay, okay. So they come for the show. They are, they are a big, big, big support. Uh, really. Yeah, so from there, from high school, I, I of course, we had a group from high school. Mm-hmm. We started recording music. Uh-huh. What was the name of the group? Chalan. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, we started recording me, uh, a lot of music. And uh, we sold a lot of CDs. And... and Tapes by them. Okay. Yeah. And uh, we went around churches. This is where you were recording where and exactly? Who go in the village or in the room? Uh, our first album actually was recorded in the village. Uh-huh. Okay. And I should tell you, but so that tape was with every taxi driver ah. in in that small town of Uyugi. Uh. It was very. It, it, it we used to sell it just for one hundred shillings. Uh. So one time we had a, a, a taxi car. And they didn't even know her, you know. And they was, just know the music. They just know the music. And they're saying, "Oh, do you know these are students from the school here, and we're seated there, <laughs> and we are happy." <laughs> you didn't tell them it's you. No. Hey, okay. <laughs> we didn't tell them it's us. But then, a long while they later knew us, you know. Then after after that, I, the group. Um, since I mean, some of us were going into universities. You mm-hmm. know, we went into universities and. Uh, um, the group took its own course, you know. <coughs> my friends, uh, one of my friends became an architect. Mm-hmm. Um, the other one studied music, uh, his PhD in music. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, my friend went into business. Mm-hmm. And I'm the one who actually took uh, music, music as a profession, Fashion, career, and uh, uh, kept the fire burning. Yeah, I kept the fire burning. Mm-hmm. So after Chalana, uh, we formed a group called Rating. Rating, yes, yeah. yes. At that time, I'd met Ted Josai. Okay, Ted Josai. Mm. Uh, where, which studio was he? Uh, was it Blue Zebra that time? Blue Zebra. Uh, <laughs> yeah, oh, Blue Zebra. Mm-hmm. And uh, I met Ted, made a couple of new uh, songs. Mm-hmm. And um, that's when I met uh, Isaac Gim. Okay, Isaac. Iso. Yeah, Iso. From Kisumu. Yeah. From Kisumu. And I met Moses Njuguna. Okay. Yeah, we formed a group called Rating. Rating, yeah. Yeah, we made good songs. Uh-huh. We, I still listen to that CD and to uh, 
what was my favorite song mm. in that um, Sema, Sema Mbendwa Mbona It's a very nice one. Uh-huh. Yeah, we made that CD. It was not very good CD. Uh-huh. It, was, it was equally very successful. Okay. Uh, I think it's one of those CDs that introduced introduced a lot of uh, band, Kenyan bands ah, okay. that you see today. A lot of Kenyan uh, bands that are well, inspired today. by what? Uh, that's what they say. It's yeah. what, what say. That's what they tell us. <laughs> okay. Both bands tell, tell us. us okay. <laughs> you Do know you the bands I'm talking about. Yes, I know. Yes, I know that that's the only CD that inspired um, our 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 band and things like that. Uh-huh. So we we toured with the with the, with Rating for a while. Um, one couple of words. Yeah, we've been to Russia, man. Russia, okay, yeah. well, under a thing now. Yes. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. Very far. I had dreadlocks. Uh, yeah. They've never seen a black man with dreadlocks. Ah. As popular for dreadlocks than the music we took there. But anyway. <laughs> then after a thing, how yeah. did you know? Because now you're solo. You're not just winning. Yeah. So uh-huh. after a thing, I met a, I met uh, Tabu. Okay. Yeah. Tabu Susa from Ketibu. Yes, from Ketibu. Uh-huh. Actually, I met a friend of mine from Germany, Awiti. If you remember Awiti. Yes, yes. Yeah. Uh, which he told me, oh, no, you should meet Tammy. Uh-huh. Uh, who's Tammy? We, we met casually. Uh-huh. Uh, and uh, Tabu told me, come to the studio. Oh. So by the time I was meeting Tabu, I had I had uh, lots of, uh, say, contemporary Benga songs mm-hmm. that I had composed a long time ago mm-hmm. uh, in my high school and uh, out of school that I did not know would be appreciated. Uh, given the the music that was popular in Kenya at that time, mm-hmm. I mean a lot of uh, blues music, a lot of um, not even fusion, but uh, there was a lot of uh, I, I don't know what influence at that time. What, uh, there was a lot of Western influence, mm-hmm. so I was in that particular mode as well. But I had made a lot of music that were benga, or you can say casual music at that time. So by the time I met Tabu, I. I started, uh, I, I introduced the song. Uh, first of all, I introduced some Western songs. And you know, I said, oh, okay, you don't have others. <laughs> That's <laughs> then, never a cool thing to be told. They're <laughs> like, okay, they are fine, but... Uh, yeah, they are fine, but... Uh, um, um, what else do you have? Then I said, okay, maybe I should... Um. Then I played Udong. You know, at that time, I I'd composed Udong a long time ago. Okay. Composer, oh, sing that again. He, no, he left and went to the office. Then he left me alone with the <laughs> with the with the studio engineer who uh-huh. was uh, what was his name? Jesse. Jesse Bukindo. Eh, Jesse Bukindo. And I said, Jesse, kuna zingi ne miko nazo. Kuna kuna zaziski ya. Then I played. I played the dongo. Then uh, then Tabu just came. Just play that one again. Then I played. Uh-huh. And Tabu became my friend. <laughs> and Tabu said, No, no, no. Mm. This is what you should play. Mm-hmm. I said, Why? Because this is Kenyan music. Did you compose this? I said, Yes, I composed it. Yeah, this is Kenyan music. Yeah. You know? It, uh, the Western ones are, are very nice. Mm-hmm. But if you can mix and uh, do this and this and that, I said, Ah, finally. Someone who can understand me because that's also what I wanted to, to play. Do. Okay, okay, <laughs> finally. You no, know, it's not like it, that will influence it. Uh-huh. No, I wanted to play this music uh-huh. that I composed, that this, these songs that I had composed under a mango tree, you know, in my village back home, living uh-huh. with my grandmother. Okay, okay. You know, this is what I wanted to sing. Those songs that I used to sing in high school, mm-hmm. you know, the folk songs, they, I used to be very good story. Ah, okay. <laughs> okay. You know, those traditional folk dances and things like that. Uh-huh. So I wanted to sing these songs. You know, uh, modernize them and put them out there. And I found someone who really was in that direction. Ah. We, became, we became very good friends. Ah. <laughs> we became very, very good friends. Uh-huh. And uh, Tabu saw me through. So, uh, Benga Blues, to be honest, Benga, I had composed Benga Blues way before. Uh-huh. 
when with songs like Nakupenda, uh -huh. I had made uh, Nakupenda song in form two. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yikes. Yeah. Odongo, I made it when I was in the university. Uh -huh. Yeah. And uh, songs like Nyachula, okay. I made it in the market <laughs> yeah, after my high school. Uh -huh. Yeah, I just made it in the market and yeah, I was singing it, it was never finished. Well, I thought there were things that people would not appreciate. Okay. You know? So when Benga Blues came and things changed, things changed completely. You know, and uh, I toured, I toured the world, you know, I toured, I toured a lot of countries mm -hmm. with that CD, mm -hmm. you know, and uh, it, uh, it, it really put a benchmark for me mm -hmm. and for Kenyan music, I think, you know, and uh, until today, people love Benga Blues. Mm -hmm. I still love Benga Blues. It's still a fire album. And to take you back, because eh? yeah. I know you play guitar. Yeah. Did you have a master who you learned, who taught you, or how did you learn playing the guitar? Uh, if I tell you, Pato, mm -hmm. I how I learned guitar was j by chance. I I loved guitar from mm -hmm. from my primary school, you know, and my dad could not buy me a guitar because he didn't think I would become a musician. First of all, he did not want me to become a musician. <laughs> he wanted me to be a banker like you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it was, you know, it was, our father's generation was that generation where what is your eldest son doing? Oh, okay. you know, and Lewis, we know they have uh, that question. Yes, yeah. and uh, given Mr. Avino, who used to work for the bank, uh -huh. the, the son was not going to become a decision. Uh -huh. And so he couldn't buy my guitar. <clears throat> so I made my first guitar. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Out of a, a US aid can, <laughs> you know those <laughs> those cans that they mm. used to they did yeah. So I I made one with just rubber bands, kitambo. So I used to hide it, you know, and bring it out and, and try my ways, you know, to see if, if it could sound. It never made very good sound, but the fact that I could play a tune or two that was very good. Mm -hmm. That 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 made me happy. So when I, I, I when I was in high school, um, the only guitar that we could access was from the uh, uh, the the patron of the Christian Union, mm -hmm. you know. And for you to play this guitar, uh, you had to join the Christian Union. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, you would become a very big sinner if you play this <laughs> this guitar mm -hmm. and you're not part of the Christian Union. Mm -hmm. We didn't have instruments in my school. And so the, the biggest problem was who's going to teach me how to play guitar? Mm. Because the only person who could play the guitar was the 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 patron. So I joined the CU oh, okay. so that I could play the guitar. After joining the CU, I still could not play the guitar because no one could teach me. So uh, after some time, a friend of mine, whom now we formed a group, Chaleana, mm -hmm. joined the school. Mm -hmm. And one Sunday morning during the... Uh, the, during the um, in the mass ceremony, I see a, a young man going up to the stage with the guitar, and he played the guitar. And I was so amazed. <laughs> I said, that has to be my friend. Mm -hmm. I am going to make that man uh, my friend. Mm -hmm. So before that, I had sung a song, and people were very happy. That that Kapom too can can really really sing. This 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 uh, the new the new guy was a uh, form one. So I went to him and said, hey, hi, my name is Brian. Hey, hi, I saw you sing, he's telling me, hey, mm -hmm. you sing so nice. Can you teach me how to sing? I said, yeah. And can you teach me how to play guitar? <laughs> and uh, he said, okay. And we became friends. Mm -hmm. So given the fact that the guitar belonged to the CU chairman, so we both joined the CU and we would play the guitar during evening hours and mm -hmm. the teacher would take it away. Mm -hmm. And uh, while the, uh, uh, when the guitar was not there, I would practice the finger, uh, the, the fingering with the uh, the one meter ruler wow. from from the teacher. Huh? Yeah, so uh, every 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 day, just to practice uh, the fingering. Then on the weekend, I'll play. I'll play the you'd play the instrument. Yeah, that's how I learned how to play <laughs> the guitar. <laughs> then after that, you know, uh, in the studios and uh, you know, step by step. Yeah. So what next for you? What are you currently working on? And uh, mm. 
Mm -hmm. New projects coming up, I'm sure they want to know. Yeah. Um, I've been working on my uh, my new album. Apart from that, I've done a lot of uh, collaborations mm -hmm. with musicians, mm -hmm. and uh, I've been writing for musicians as well. And uh, my new album is now finished. Okay. okay. Yeah. Uh -huh. So I'm about to launch it. I really have. Uh, it has taken a long time. I'm given the COVID mm -hmm. uh, uh, situation, and also I. I wanted to outmatch Benga Blues. <laughs> yes, yes. Hey, because uh, the standards that uh, that album yeah. had set were, well, uh, hey, yeah. this high. Yeah. You know? I wanted to outmatch Benga Blues and um, we sat down with Taboo mm -hmm. and said, oh, this is nice, all oh, this is good. Mm -hmm. and so we've been going back and forth. Mm -hmm. I've been performing some of the new songs as yes, well. Yes. And um, over the next uh, uh, performances, I'll be performing the new ones. Uh, so that the, the, the band can get uh, with it and just listen to it, like, what can I change? Uh -huh. It's never finished. Ah, uh, yes, <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, like, what can be changed? What the, it, uh, and I've changed a lot of things because of performing, like, uh, performing some of the new songs. Like. And the funny thing is uh, very talented musicians are never satisfied yeah. with the music. You always <laughs> feel like you can twitch it, you can do this, yeah. do that, yeah. Yeah, there's always something you can change. Mm -hmm. It's always like that, but um, at some point you just have to say, okay. That this is it, man. Yeah. Let it go. Let yeah. the baby go. Hey, let the baby go. As I, I, still, yeah, I still change a few things on Benga Blues. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's true. crazy, huh? Yeah, so the new one is ready. Mm -hmm. So we, mm -hmm. we're going to set the, the launch and also, yeah, and, and, and put it up there now. Mm -hmm. There's a plan out there to launch it, to promote it and uh, see where it takes us again. Yes. So we're calling it round two. Okay. And, uh, <laughs> at this moment, I'd like you to give you time again. Mm -hmm. um, if somebody has just joined watching now, right? how can they get to mm -hmm. you? How mm -hmm. can they get the, the music? Yeah, sure. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Once again, I'm Winyo. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm a Kenyan born musician. I'm a contemporary vendor artist. Please find my music on iTunes and all the platforms, Amazon, um, Spotify. You can find Banger Blues on these platforms. Please find me also on Facebook as we know, on uh, Instagram as we know as well. Um, and uh, also on Twitter at we know bad. Please. And also my website is out there. We know music.com. By the way, uh, in the new collaborations you've been doing, right? Uh, they're very experimental. Yes, I love Nairobi. You love what's, Nairobi. What's 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 that about? By the way, um, <coughs> I was approached by a few DJs uh -huh. to uh, to do something on house music uh -huh. and this. I'm a piano. Some of these things, uh -huh. and I I wasn't I I, I was reluctant to do it because okay. it's not my field. Okay. Then one of those days I just said, okay, can I come today? <laughs> Let me go and do something. Uh -huh. And I, I did not know that thing would go that far. <laughs> what? <laughs> How's the react reception been? Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Idea. Uh -huh. I, think, I thank these DJs for one thing. Uh, that they introduced me to a field like completely did not know. Uh -huh. And I've come to love it. Uh -huh. It's very beautiful. Yeah. You know? And how educated the DJs are to noticing another field as well and say, welcome to this, mm -hmm. welcome to this. And I went there and wrote a song called Abiru. Mm -hmm. It changed completely. I, I have, I think I've collaborated with 10, 12 DJs okay. now and an EP with uh, my friend Suraj and Kacho, okay. which is really doing well. Yes. Uh -huh. And. Uh, uh, I have a few collaborations now, almost uh, like I, I have a 15 DJs. Hey. Mm. <laughs> you know, and, and it's. Hey, you know, you know, yeah. I be home. 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 I be home.
Adoro tu tamanangono, yo puro cora viro. Aringo catarich catarach, aringo catarich catarach, abiro tu tamanangono, abiro, abiro tu tamanango, abiro tu tamanangono, abiro, abiro tu tamanangono. I think it's changed. Things changed. <laughs> and I've really been enjoying it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Survive, it's a vibe. It's a vibe. Thank you so much mm. for hanging out with us. Sapadari Winyo, mm. Asante Sana for gracing my place. Oh, thank you, bro. Asante for coming through. Thank you. Yeah, I can't wait for the album. Thank you for the And uh, thank you for always blessing us with good music. Asante Sana. If you are new to this channel, please subscribe. Mm. Till next time. Peace. Thank you.